Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ. I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls, and this is an adult channel meant for adult doll and toy collectors, and we are finishing up our Monster High Skultimate Secrets Wave 2 Fearidescent line with Laguna, so let's get into it. So here is Monster High Skultimate Secrets Wave 2 Fearidescent Laguna Blue. She comes in the coffin shaped packaging, just like all the other dolls. She has the blue doors. You're still getting 125 plus looks, 19 plus surprises, and you still have the water color changing feature where you dip the key in water and it changes color to let you know what door to open. On the back, it features the other ghouls in the line. And if you are interested, there is her barcode. I got this for $29.99, $30 after tax at Target, but these are also available on Target Online and on Amazon. So let's go ahead and unbox her. Once you remove the packaging, you are left with the coffin shaped locker. As you can see, it is basically like a blind box aspect. So you don't know what the doll is gonna look like. Said it in other videos, I'ma say it again. I wish they would include a window right here so you could see what the doll looks like. Fingers crossed, Laguna is going to look at least, you know, decent. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh, I love her. One of my favorite things about the Skultimate Secrets line is the little pictures that are on the locker door right here because sometimes there are Easter eggs. So Laguna's she has, you know, little like scales right here. And then she has this little banner with seashells. Her mirror is a seashell with like octopus tentacles. It says make a splash. There's Neptuna. There's a little stuffed like Neptuna, her eye coffin, little sink on the second shelf. We have toothbrush, all her like little, I guess, makeup stuff. The bottom shelf, we have like the little mask. I think that her um, hair play doll comes with. Yeah, I really, I really love the doors. There's like so much like hidden stuff on the doors. In this first compartment right here, you get your set of instructions to tell you how to open the doors, how to do the watercolor changing feature. You also get your first key. With this, you are supposed to dip it in water. It changes color to let you know what door to open as I throw it across the table. But you can actually just use one key to open all of these doors, or you can just look on the bottom and it'll let you know what color door to open. But let's go ahead and take a look at Laguna. So her hair this time is more of a pastel blue and purple with just just some blonde in it. And just like all the other dolls in the line, her hair is unfortunately poly, but it's not that bad. It's it's decent, you know, it's not that bad. This is what it looks like out of the box pretty much. Uh close up on her face because I can't get over the makeup that they did for Laguna. I am loving the lower lid. I think that is so beautiful. And for once, I actually have a Laguna where her forehead scales are actually, you know, decent. Like, they're not, like, off-centered. They actually look pretty decent. She's I, I love the freckles. I love that that kind of carried over from her G1 doll. I love her ears. She does have the purple glitter. Well, her lips are purple and she does have the glitter that all the other dolls have as long as well as glitter on her eyelids. So her first outfit top is like this blue marbly swirl type of pattern. Looks like waves or like ripples on the water and she has it's like an off the shoulder top and it she's got the mesh sleeves that kind of fan out towards the end she has on that plasticky feeling holographic skirt hers is pretty you know stiff as well but when you turn it it catches the light and she's got like this big old like ruffle right here which i think is supposed to kind of almost be like a fin now she comes with plastic 
around her legs and I think that's just so maybe the paint from the shoes doesn't rub off on her legs. But yeah, I guess I'm not, whatever. That kind of worries me just a little bit. But now when I unboxed her, I thought the fins were attached to her boots. And I was like, no, I'm so stupid. She has fins attached to her legs. Ugh, whatever. But <laughs> Here are her boots. I love these boots. I'm getting like mermaid princess, like Aquaman vibes with them. So they fade from like a light purple into a blue again with the whole ombre thing going on. But what I would love to see is the detail that's on there. I would love to see the detail painted instead of like this ombre thing because as beautiful as it is, it's getting a little old, but just all the detail that's on them and her heel looks like waves I love that and the bottom of the shoe are waves love that all right so I just went ahead and I opened all the locker doors so let's go ahead and see what we have in the first door if I could get it out oh my there we go so let's see what we got So we have our second key and her stole. So it is like a pastel bluish white color and it has these little darker blue things on them. And I think it's supposed to like kind of like replicate like waves. Like if you're drawing, you know, you draw like a little M or a W to like replicate waves. And the inside pattern looks like scales. I love that. And just like all the other ones, super soft. And we also get her second outfit pieces in here. So the first one is a like tie dye type shirt. It's like blue tie dye. It's got a little tie right here on the side. And they kind of gave it like a black collar around the top portion and the heart that's on it it's two fish bones together I love that it's like to me that is like just so monster high I love that and it is held in the back by velcro and her second outfit bottoms um they're shorts one side it's elastic waist one side is black one side is like this wave pattern and everything and it has like little mesh like like half mesh like tights under it i feel like this is almost a reference and correct me if i'm wrong because i didn't have the original laguna but i feel like this is almost a reference to her original doll because didn't her original doll have like mesh like little tights like this length under them under the shorts or something I feel like it did. I could be wrong. But yeah, those are her. That was what was in the first compartment. All right, moving on to the second door. Oh, it's already ripped open right there. Hmm. So in this one, we get our other key. We get her headband. I love this headband. Again, I am getting just like ocean princess vibes. It, I, it's like tentacles almost with like fins on the edges. I love this. This is beautiful. And her earrings, they're jellyfish. Her earrings, they are silver. They are jellyfish. Oh my God, the detail. And then this is a necklace. They put it in plastic wrap. Um, I can't open it. Okay, there we go. And her necklace. It's an octopus in the middle, right? That's an octopus, right? 
zoom in some more. I believe that is an octopus, could be a jellyfish, but the clear portions make me think of like bubbles, like just bubbles in the water. Oh, I love the detail for this doll. Like I loved Cleo and the detail because it just screamed Cleo. This Laguna doll, all of her accessories are just screaming Laguna. I'm a princess of the ocean. I love it. All right, in the third door, we have our last key, key ring for all of the keys, like you can put all your keys on this. And we have her second outfit shoes. So they kind of went with like that jelly material that they went with with uh, Draculaura's. These are boots and it's like a transparent blue with like silver glitter. We have a little fin right here on the ankle portion. The, oh my God, the heel. The heel is a shark. <gasps> I love it. The heel is black, but it's a shark. And the bottom, like little wave patterns, but it's a shark. The heel is a shark. I love that. In the last door are all of her like makeup and like food accessory type things. We have her little makeup palette and I believe this is supposed to be well it's got spiderweb pattern on it but I feel like this is supposed to be like a sea urchin or like clamshell type thing oh there's a little a little poof in there like the little you know you dab it on your cheeks oh and it scales and a spiderweb pattern then we everything is in plastic wrap just like Cleo's I don't know where the tape is Let's open it I love her purse her purse is like a pearl like spiderweb pattern up there almost handle it's a pearl and it does open It opens this almost reminds me and like I said I did not have the original Laguna doll but I have seen the Laguna doll back in the day on store shelves and in pictures that one had I think well, like a fishbowl purse this kind of reminds me of that I have to know somebody who has the original Laguna doll please tell me if Neptuna can fit in here because then I'll be on the hunt for a G1 Neptuna just to be able to place in here because I do have like a G1 Laguna, but it's not like the original, original, like first release one. It's like from one of the other lines, but yeah, I gotta know, does Neptuna fit in here? Somebody please tell me. And her ice cream treat cone, whatever you want to call it. So the cone is black. And this portion is like blue. Oh, there's like, like tentacles wrapped around it. I don't want to know what kind of ice cream this is. Two like little, like straws maybe, and like a fish tail on top. Not as cute as Cleo, Claudine's, and Frankie's, but it's still cute. Like you can definitely tell like this goes to Laguna. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the little headband on her, got her earrings in, necklace. I put her in her second outfit, including the shoes, got her purse stole, and her ice cream. In this outfit, I am getting such like rebel mermaid princess vibes from her. I love this Laguna doll. I feel like this, 
I haven't opened Monster Ball yet, but as of right now, this is like my favorite Laguna. I know there's a lot of hate for Laguna in G3 because she is no longer blue. It's something new to all of us OG collectors. You know, we, some of us can't, you know, grasp the fact that this is different. It's not really technically geared towards us adults. It's geared towards kids and in a poll, kids gravitated more towards pink Laguna than they did blue Laguna. And I can vouch my daughter, LA, she is like 10. And I've showed her, you know, OG Laguna and then this one, and she prefers pink Laguna over the old Laguna. Kids tastes and everything change over the years. We might have all loved Blue Laguna, but now there's a newer generation who love Pink Laguna. And um, then, you know, people are like, oh, her name needs to change. And let me, let me stop my rant. Let me stop. She is gorgeous. She is beautiful. Why did I make this one the last one to open? I don't know. I wasn't like as like thrilled for this Laguna doll like I was for all of the others called Ultimate Secret Dolls. But I am thoroughly impressed. She is beautiful. Love the makeup. I just love all of her accessories. All of that. Let me know down below what you guys think of the Skultimate Secrets line, Wave 2, Fearidescent. What do you think of the Fearidescent Laguna? All that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.